Oh, the Mayweather conversation I had with him, that took place Sunday. Uh, it wasn't even really a conversation. It's mostly me walking him home and stuff like that. Yeah, I got a call from them uh, Sunday night. It wasn't like Floyd said, no, oh, call him up, let me talk to him. Uh, Nate just called me back. He had got a text from me earlier. Was talking about one of the photos that we saw. Then we started talking, getting caught up on times. And uh, he put me on speaker, and I said, like, let me welcome him home. You know, welcome back home. So, one nothing said. He he never leaked anything like he's coming back. Only thing he said is, but I was like, oh, I see you sticking with the fro. So yeah, he he liked the the baby fro. That's why I was saying in the video that he was gonna keep it. But he's doing fine, uh, as y'all probably can see now. But that's why I never said anything about it because it wasn't really a a con full conversation. Like we was doing like an interview and stuff like that. That's just me just being courteous and thanking him for everything and welcoming him back home. And that's that was it. But if the world wanted to know that, that's what that was. Uh anything new going on in boxing? I don't think so. Let me see about these questions. Let's see what y'all got for me in the question. I'm glad a lot of y'all like the um, article about the Fox News situation, about what they do to Gabby. That was wrong. Uh, okay. Man, I don't know why people, the fight has died down between Mayweather and Pacquiao. We've heard this before. 50 Cent now is getting involved. I don't think anything will come out of it. Aram is not going to work with uh, 50 Cent and Mayweather to make this fight happen. Okay, um, that's a very well point. After all that's happened, I'll be a little skeptical myself. But uh, I'm, I have reason to believe that this fight could possibly be made. It probably will be made uh, next year, without a doubt. Next year will be probably the final year to get it done. So I think they're going to really put emphasis into getting it done and completed because it'll be a tremendous payday for everybody involved every party that's involved and everybody wants to dip their hat in and see what bit of money they can pull out of it so I think a lot of people try to really make this fight happen now because the realization is set in that nobody has a problem with leaving and doing something else but if you're going to leave and do something else and that's more lucrative, then so be it. But it's not too many lucrative fights left. So you better make this fight happen. And the guy's thinking, like, basically this fight has jumped the shark. And no, it hasn't jumped the shark. It's still people want to see it. You have to remember, when uh, Tyson fought Holyfield, nobody, nobody wanted to see it, right? But everybody wanted to see it back before he went to jail. And it was, nobody wants to see Tyson Holyfield. Why are they making this fight? Is we want to see Lennox Lewis and Tyson. What is this going on here? Like Tyson threw the belt in the trash before he went and fought Holyfield. And what happened? Everybody paid to see the fight. Why? Because they had to see it. They had to know. Everybody in the world was watched this fight. Because <laughs> they have to know. And that's that's the reason why this fight is still gonna break records. It's never gonna die down. It'll only get more the longer it is, the more anticipation builds up. People get frustrated, but when the fight is made, oh my god. You can forget about that one. You can cancel Christmas on that one, buddy. The world will be watching. 